Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Waterwise and welcome back to From the Depths and to what is a very, very strange video with a very, very strange vehicle. But we'll get to that in a second. This video has come about as kind of, it's kind of an apology for not diving into the land adventure mode uh, immediately like I know some people have, those people being Lathrix, who is awesome, we all love him because he is awesome and lovable, but um, I don't like adventure mode, it is not my cup of tea, absolutely not at all, because it combines all the things I really hate in From the Depths into one really sucky package, so I'm not saying I'll never touch the land adventure mode, I'm saying you shouldn't hold your breath, but as a kind of consolation, I suppose gift, uh, to the people who have been asking uh, about it, Here's a concept which I feel might work quite well. So, the exact vehicle you see before you is a bit of a mess, and um, it probably will never feature in any adventure mode ever because it is slightly too expensive for a starter craft. Being made of alloy probably is a bit of a problem there, and also because in adventure mode you don't actually need functioning AI and stuff like that. I just like that because I'm lazy and I hate driving. Uh, one of the reasons I hate adventure mode is because you're kind of expected to drive your own vehicle around. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, this thing doesn't require power to move on land, which is the big thing. So this kind of um, uh, spinning foot, uh, spinning feet, is something I've covered on the channel before. It's like simple walkers, uh, which I've done... I did ages ago, actually, if you can tell. Uh, we, I have made much better walkers since then even did a whole Ashes playthrough with them, which was a absolutely magnificent disaster, and I highly recommend you go watch all of those stream VODs, but enough plugging myself, how does this work? Well, it's quite simple. Here we have feet on spin blocks, uh, stickiness is set to max, clearance is set to 0.1, forward friction is set to 1 and 1 for main and positive, nothing on backward friction, um, and all the feet have these settings, and the spin blocks on one side are set to respond Two, well, continuous reverse on the left side, and forward just a little bit. I find if you set this too high, the thing doesn't move properly. Uh, your right just a little bit, and main positive just a little bit. And almost but not quite the same settings over here. Also, wait a minute, is it continuous reverse? Yes, it is. Probably should have changed that, but um, yeah, so these things are set to just the opposite settings. Arguably, I could have. Uh, set these up differently, probably more intuitively, but never you might. So, the two on the right have the same settings, the two on the left have the same settings, and the thing just has extra custom control surfaces to help it move around, because uh, she actually does move uh, decently fast. She moves at 42 meters per second, which isn't incredibly fast uh, by land, um, uh, by land vehicle standards, uh, but it's doing this with zero engine power. Uh, that engine power you see down below is just uh, powering a heartstone, and if we get back into uh, the material zone, uh, you'll see that it is uh, going to power the material gatherers as well. So just adventure mode concept. Like I said, this thing is probably never ever going to uh, actually be in adventure mode proper, because that's just not how we do. It also steers like an absolute pig, so probably never going to happen. Are we in the resource zone? Running at 0%. Zone is a thousand material. We're not in the zone. Damn it. Well, get back in the zone, please. So yeah, this thing is fun, and it just has some radar-guided uh, missiles over here. It looks like a horribly mutated jet fighter, actually. And of course, they're mimicked, uh, because they have to be. It's just, like, you know, rubber with a jet on the back, because, you know, that's nice and simple. And, uh, yeah, it uh, does just fine against things roughly its own cost, simply because EMP missiles are absolutely busted um, when uh, in the early game of, well, Ashes and also Land Adventure mode. As Lathrix has demonstrated oh so magnificently, just using large EMP missiles, it's pretty straightforward. So, a combination of the two is just like you've got a vehicle that doesn't require any materials or power at all to function, uh, plus EMP missiles is just in the early stages, uh, you will probably kick a lot of ass. And also, I should mention that uh, these spin blocks with feet on them 
are extraordinarily cheap. Can you stop moving for a second so I can click on you? Right, so save over placeholder 2. Uh, that is 300 materials, and most of that is probably the feet. Or not even that, it's mostly the alloy poles they're s that's, they're being stuck on. So if you build with something cheaper, uh, you can probably do a lot better. So, actually, I don't really want to push this to its limit and see how well it does against... Where is it? It's probably going to lose against a King Cobra, but you never know. I think the King Cobra actually has um, missile interceptors, so that would be interesting. And the funny thing about this is that this thing bounces along so much that um, cram shells tend to miss. I think... No, 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 no. Oh no, it's got decoys. Great. Now I'm going to keep the repairs on, why not? Ah, yeah, it's mostly the rubber we're losing. Right. Oh, yeah, it's got decoys. It has decoys, something annoying. Groovy. I think we're actually doing quite well. We're winning, mostly. And the great thing about this thing is that because it's got rubber on the underside, uh, it can lose a few legs before it actually dies completely. I actually need to... Yeah, I don't know how the the King Cobra does that, but it's really hard to hit with missiles. Well, I say really hard, it's just kind of irritating. Oh, hello. Whee! How are we doing? We're doing great. Hooray for stacked alloy and repairs. Uh, so yeah, that's basic. I've dragged this video out longer than it needs to be, actually. So, you get the idea. This is basically uh, a concept for adventure mode that I might never explore. But if you try this, you, the person watching, I'm dying to hear how well it goes for you. So, like I said, it's pretty simple to set up these little feats. You don't need ACBs or breadboard or anything like that. You essentially have wheels that cost nothing to run. Is it AI dead over there? No, it isn't. Dang it. And of course, you don't have to do what I've done and make a kind of weird fighter jet canoe thing. The legs can be made much better. Let's follow the missiles. Missile decorations are so fun. This looks like... I don't know what this... Why did you miss so much? Yay, AI dead. Hooray for hopelessly overpowered EMP weapons against small targets. Cue the pro EMP crowd saying it's not that bad. So anyway, that is not an invitation for an argument. Please be nice. So anyway, that does it for this uh, little video. It's just like if you've ever wanted to make something that looks like an incredibly cursed cyborg lizard, here you go. It's like you can get up to like 40 meters per second or more, depending on how big you make the thing, uh, for no engine power, which I always like. It's why I like sails. It's fun. So anyway... Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.